there were two linguists who thought about this idea and they proposed that maybe language isn't just the output of how we think, but instead when you teach a child language, you're actually shaping how they can think or how they can see the world or how their mind can cogitate. And the idea that language shapes thought became known as the Sapir-Whorf hypothesis. As an example that we'll get into in a moment, some languages have different ways of dividing up the color spectrum. So they might verbally distinguish two neighboring colors, whereas your language might just use a single word that encompasses both colors. And the evidence suggests that speakers of that other language are better at seeing, better at distinguishing between those different colors, between different shades than you are. 